Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. Today I am sharing my recipe for banana cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. These cupcakes are so moist with a generous frosting of cream cheese icing. Nuts or no nuts, you decide. But check out how to make this really simple recipe. You will need sugar and flour, banana puree, soy milk, vegan butter, baking powder, baking soda, salt and cinnamon, egg replacer of your choice, and today I'm using some crushed hazelnuts which are completely optional, or just use whatever nut you like best, or chocolate chips would also be awesome. So first sift the flour with the baking soda and the powder, the cinnamon and the salt, and I'm actually using an egg replacer called the plant-based egg today, and I will make some notes about using any other egg replacer in the written blog post, so be sure to click the link below to go ahead and grab the written recipe with lots of more information. So I am creaming the vegan butter with the sugar until it is light and fluffy, and this usually takes just about three to five minutes. If you are new here to my channel, I wanna just say welcome and I hope that you will want to subscribe so you can check out the hundreds of recipes that I have here and also on my blog at Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. All right, now because I'm using the plant-based egg egg replacer, this allows me to add it to the dry ingredients rather than reconstitute it with a liquid. So normally in a creaming method recipe, we would add that egg or the replacer egg right after the creaming of the butter and the sugar. But this time I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to the addition of about one third of the soy milk that I've already mixed with the vanilla extract. Again, if you're using another egg replacer, I write the slightly different method with the recipe on Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. But no matter what you decide to use, it is still an alternating creaming method where I now add one third of the sifted dry ingredients, another one third of the soy milk, another one third of the dry, and then the remaining soy milk, and then the last of the flour. So that's basically an alternating creaming method. The banana puree goes in last, and then your optional nuts. Now I didn't actually chop them up all the way, so take out those few stragglers that refuse to get chopped, and then portion the batter into your cupcake liners. Bake them immediately, and then in the meantime, I'm going to prepare my cream cheese icing. Now, I do have a separate recipe and video tutorial for that recipe, so again, all the links are below this video. And of course, if you're not a big fan of cream cheese icing, go for buttercream or even fudge. I mean, who doesn't love chocolate bananas? Or forget the icing altogether and just serve them up as some breakfast banana muffins. But of course, I have to go for the icing and cream cheese icing is my favorite combination with banana. So just ice them up with a sprinkling of crushed hazelnuts and you will have yourself the most moist and delicious banana cupcakes you will ever try. So be sure to head over to Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com to grab the recipe. If you liked this video, please give me a like, comment below, and subscribe for more great recipes weekly. I do want to give a special thank you to my patrons on Patreon and my pals in PayPal for the continued support. You guys are just awesome. If you think that you can help me and Gretchen's Bakery continue sharing recipes and making videos each week because the cost to do all of this is really not cheap and the pennies from YouTube, well, they are literally pennies. So if you think you can help for as little as a dollar a month, I would so greatly appreciate that. And of course, thank you to everyone joining me here weekly. Just knowing that you guys are coming here to check me out is so amazing and I appreciate each and every one of you so much. So until next time, happy baking. Bye for now.